top audio on because I'm stupid. <laughs> Whew, you should be able to hear him now. Otherwise, yeah, can coming. you hear me? Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's definitely coming through. All right. And we're roughly Excellent. about the same level. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Where are we starting this? When are we gonna starting? Get... Which, uh, what game are we starting with? Um, I don't know. Was either the arcade game or Hyperstone Heist is what I was thinking about. I just played through Hyperstone Heist and it feels like such a ROM hack. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm like, I'm not used like to right. Hyperstone Heist. That's the only reason I was thinking that one because I yeah. barely played that one. Let's do it. It's so fucking weird. It's like this weird ROM hack amalgamation of Turtles in Time. Yeah. With like different assets from other shit and like original. <laughs> it's so weird. All right, so now I gotta figure out how do I invite okay. people. I need to remember how I plug this screen. No copy of it. There we go. Invite people. Oh boy. Hello, everyone. Online, that does it. Okay. Fuck it, I'll host. I got a new router. Even though I'm still asking people to help me pay for it. Bikini Blast, what's up? We're gonna see if Turtles wants to work for us. Right, lobby, yes. Join in progress, sure, why not? Who cares? Frame delay! Can't wait till that turns out fun. Change yeah, gonna... region? <laughs> what does changing the region do? I wonder which ones there are. Like, it's all. Is it North America or just you? Oh, good! I'm already off to a great start. Even attempting yeah. to make a room said, uh, don't work, it's broken. <laughs> Private lobby, yes. Again, try again. Come on. Who is? Who else is playing Hyperstone Heist? Literally no one. Come on. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's the worst um, game on here. Definitely not. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to go into online, right? <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Uh... I guess one of us so, can just keep trying to create a lobby until it works. <laughs> um, I don't know if you're talking to me, but I've played the Super Nintendo version of Turtles in Time and the arcade. I know there are some differences. We played that sh super shitty uh, fucking Ubisoft remake for Xbox 360. Uh, join lot in this okay should i create the lobby i'm thinking at this point both of us just keep trying to create lobbies until one of them works because right now i'm not getting uh, it to work private yes sure creating lobby let's see michelangelo is brain dead online might be brain dead too if a network error occurred. Lovely. Yep, I'm getting the same one. <laughs> this might be a short stream. <laughs> yeah. No, we just both play Hyperstone Heist on our own and hope we're syncing up somewhat. Oh. Great lobby. A private, sure, yes. Um, I got it for work! Did you? Yep. For Hyperstone Heist? Yup. No games found. I'm sending you an invite directly. All right. Through Steam, so hopefully that works. Thank you, Tim Whitfield, for the two dollars super chat. Am I familiar with Happy Days? I'm f no, not very. <laughs> I'm aware it had the fawns and stuff, but I've not watched Happy Days. <laughs> Did you get the uh, Steam invite? Yeah. Is it letting you connect, or are we having more issues? Um... Let's see... Is it working? Um... Oh Fine. shit, I hit that fucking fly. Finding Fine. lobby! Are we really finding lobby though? I don't know. No games found. It says no games found? 
Yeah. Oh my god. Try and send that invite again. Sending. Okay, I sent it to you and then you vanished, so I'm hoping that was a good sign. Shift tab, you wanna... Will Shift anything tab? work? Uh, thank you, Diego, for the $3 super chat. I think it's online people throwing money at it. I go on YouTube, I get comments later that said, I thought you were dead. I'm like, I kinda am. <laughs> am I supposed to accept the invite, then look for a lobby? I... <laughs> I don't know how this Are is supposed to lobby? work. I thought it was just supposed to load you into it. I, I click it and it's not doing anything. Yeah, I don't know what it's like on your end. And you're not on the list again. Look, okay, now you're not even on the Steam list. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh... Game. If I try this. Oh, Karma didn't get luck of the draw there. Gift or gifted a sub to Karma again. Network error. <laughs> this is hey, just like on. when we were trying to play uh, the arcade game on the Xbox 360. Yeah. And all the issues with that. It's like, this is an ancient game back then. Nothing can handle doing online for this stupid old arcade game. What are you using the Hyperstone to make our connection shit? <laughs> yeah, they, they, if you haven't touched Hyperstone Heist at all, it's like, it's got its own story. It's so slapdash, it's fucking hilarious. I know it's different. I've played it, like, briefly, but I'm not very familiar with it. Yeah, because now I'm hitting invite and you're not even listed in the Steam list. What is going on here? It's so weird. Yeah, it was like, oh, you tried that guy too many times. That's it. It's no. Yeah. Not. not allowed. Now I've disappeared. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna regret doing this. Cause you're like, right now... Oh my god, I can't even shift tab. Send me another invite, would you, John? Yeah, I, so you were like, not on my Steam list at all, so I was like, physically unable to send you an invite. Okay, you see me again? Um, I hit no. I saw no games found. Hitting private lobby again. All right, I think I was able to make one. Uh, you're in there. Okay, sending invite. Oh, thank you, Nor <laughs> Norberto Valley, for the 4.99 super chat. Keep it up. Thank you. Yeah, we'll try to get this <laughs> up <laughs> if we can. Because anytime someone sends you a super chat, it doesn't let you into the game. Yeah. Did you send the invite again? I literally did. Okay, set. Still says invite sent on my uh, tabs right here. You see? No one on my screen can verify that though. I don't see the invite anywhere. It just says invite sent and it's sitting blank. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I should just pull up your YouTube stream on my phone and see if I can sort this out through there. It's being there. screwy. Um, send it again. <laughs> the thing is, I literally can't if it's already... Okay, good. All right, sending it, sending it, go. Okay. Yeah. Let me get a 
death came out, I don't get done with it. God damn it. I literally... I hate this one. Ugh. Oh, look, I see my dumbass. I don't see the invite again. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like I'm looking at your stream and like of course the stream Steam overlay doesn't want to fucking behave. I can send it again, but all it does is say invite sent until I tab out. Mm. Well, that's an issue. Yeah. The issue I'm getting at is that uh, I send you the invite. Mm -hmm. I close the tab list because you know I don't need to be looking at it the whole time. Yeah. And as soon as I open it back up. I can send you another invite. So, how about I restart my Steam and see if that behaves? <laughs> Fucking yes, I'd like to quit game. God damn it. Alright, let's go. How do you do the invite? Um, Maybe if I try... You get into a lobby. It'll yeah. ask you to hit the button for invite. It'll bring up your Steam friends list. And then once you're on your Steam friends list, you just pick the person you want to invite, click invite, and then you can pull up Steam tab, uh, you know, the overlay window with shift tab, usually. It wasn't working for some reason. Uh, and then in your friends list, there should be a communication saying that you've received an invite to said game. That's if I create the lobby? Yep. I'm restarting Steam, see if it's going to behave itself that way. Could not connect to the Steam network. Huh. What is happening? Steam shit itself while I was... I mean, I'm still I streaming. Know. Yeah, now Steam's out. being weird. Well, that would be the fucking luck, right? The day we try to get this on, it's like, yeah, we're gonna work. <laughs> yeah. Steam, Steam, why are you like this? This is a great stream of just connectivity issues. Only I had the Switch version. Yeah. <laughs> the Switch may work a lot easier. I mean, and if we're in the point where we're like, wow, Nintendo, Steam, what the fuck are you doing now? Now I can't even get it to load. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get it to even try and let me to, like, create a lobby. Uh, there was a back... Let me just dump some shit here. Was it still giving you the network error when you're trying to create the lobby? Yeah, that's what it does every single time. Let's see if there's anything on here that could be causing issues. And I definitely don't oh. oh, I got it to create a lobby. Okay, invite. I'm not on Steam right now. Ah! One sec, maybe. Come on, drum roll, please. I'm on Steam. Let's go. All right. How do I invite you? Crap. You now invite. it's just starting the game. Damn it. <laughs> Exit. Try the lock. Unless you let drop in option, you should be able to invite from there. But I wouldn't know how. Oh my god, this is acting like I was in some weird limbo version of Steam that didn't connect anyway. Well, here, let's update 30xx and vampires are coming. In fact, I will stay out of the game until you figure out how to do the invite and maybe... I have the lobby set right now. And you um, don't have a button that specifically says invite? I do, but I press it and it does nothing. <laughs> well, that's uh, a choice. It's supposed to bring up your Steam overlay. It no, that's what you hit shift and tab. And then it'll bring up a thing in the friends list. And you scroll down the friends list to find the name, hit <laughs> invite, and then it should just take you there. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of unfinished games on here. Thank you, old school Kurt, for the 199. This turtle game needs Goron. Everything needs more Goron. I'm gonna hit 
play on mine, see if this... I was curious about why I couldn't hit shift tab to bring up Steam. Okay, it's working now, but I don't know if it's... Like, if you go onto yours and say, like, join a lobby, can you see mine? Did you hit it as private? Yeah, I did. I don't think then it would show up. No. But we'll see. So I'm pretty sure that Hyperstone Heist is the hottest ticket in town here. I can try it on not private. There, it's on not private. Now see if you can see it. Yep. Got it. <gasps> Are we actually going to be able to play a game? Up. Drum roll. Up. It. Up. Up. Uh, what is uh, this? Maybe. Oh maybe. my god. Whoa! Amazing. Are you here? Yeah, I just for some reason can't start the game. <laughs> oh, wait a moment. I guess you have to pick first. Or I have to... I okay, think well, maybe you had to press start. Thank I you, was. Russo. Wait. Glassbender for the four ninety nine. Wait a minute. I remember something about this game, and I think I know what it might be. What? When I was playing it, um, it always had the name of the turtle in second player and said press start. So I think you have to pick one, and then I'm just forced with whoever else they give me. Oh, what? I can't believe Shredder... Is he already Super Shredder? What's going on? <laughs> Why does he have, like, a gem on his helmet? The Hyperstone, I think. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> we'll find you with our high-energy detector... If you didn't notice that it's basically he stole the Statue of Liberty, but he shrank it down along with the entire fucking Manhattan Island. Okay. See. So, well, plus. Can you get in? Okay, I got it. Yeah, I'm in. I might got it. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, I hope you don't like the fact that you can run forward in Turtles in Time because you won't in this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who needs running? Also, the slam uh, is the only thing you can do. You can't do the throw at the screen because, you know, that's high-tech shit. Oh. <laughs> Genesis. <laughs> you just walk into them to do the throw in this one? On something that Genesis don't, that Nintendo did. Whoa. Take that. Yeah, so we're in, like, the sewer level. <laughs> Get used to this, by the way. Is there a lot of sewer levels? This, like, the way this is set up oh. is, like, if we're playing through multiple... Oh, my God. Crap. I think I was doing a special that was draining my life, and I didn't realize... <laughs> I didn't realize this one was, like, Turtles 3 on Nintendo. Something else I was playing that... Um, the, no, I mean, Turtles in Time and SNES also did that to me. The special where I, like, use the pole for Donatello to just rocket kick forward. Oh, is that... that does it drain your health in Turtles in Time? I don't remember Turtles in Time as well. You know, Tur Turtles in Time for SNES is like my most played probably in this entire collection. Uh, for me, it's definitely the regular arcade game. The original arcade or the... Um... The Nintendo one. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. God, that game is harder than I remember it. Yeah. Like, if you don't take a, con like, a continue before you get past the samurai guy, then you're in good shape to beat it. If you have to continue before that, usually it's a bad run. <laughs> no pizza, I guess. All right. Like, and now we're instantly in Alley Cat Blues. Oh, okay. How do you do the throw in this one? It's the same, except you just don't touch anything, and it seems almost random sometimes. You don't touch anything, you just walk into them? Okay. You walk into them, and you can press the button, like, to attack. Yeah, okay. But it doesn't, it seems random to me, like, I can't just... Like, when they it. do it, or you just attack? Yeah. There, yeah, it's like, it's so much more fickle in this. Yeah. Definitely works better in Shredder's Revenge. Turtles Revenge is so good, though. Yeah. Like, it's one of those games where it's like, you play it now, and you're like, yeah, you can see, like, go back and, going back to these, it's like, yeah, I can see these design elements are, like, what they improved on, and new was just not fun in the originals. Mm -hmm. 
You're like losing life for doing a special. That sucks, but hey, now I've got this cool fucking meter that I can charge up. Right. And it's like, that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, I forgot about that attack. Where you just kind of float in the air, swinging your weapon. I don't even know how you purposely do it. <laughs> right at the tip. Like, you're just about to go down. Okay, yeah. You want that pizza? Or wait I'll that. wait till this is done. I don't think it'll all Ah! No, well, now we can't. Fucking kidding me! <laughs> uh, thank you, uh... <laughs> Spede Vescu? For the five euros, I believe? Do you think the success of Shredder's Revenge and IDW making a comic book series based on the 87 show could lead to some kind of revival of the show? I would like to see something like that, like, you know, 87, but taken slightly more seriously than the original show did. But, like, I was looking through the extras on this game, and, like, I was looking at, like, later seasons of Turtles, and it's like, the screenshots are using, I'm like, what the fuck was happening in this show? Oh, yeah, I want to do a video on the Red Sky seasons at some point, because, yeah, it gets weird. It's actually pretty good in the first season of it, but... It kind of shits the bed after that. <laughs> you know, I'll we'll remember Turtles Forever, and they're running from like bananas and pizza. And <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, maybe it, later seasons that was kind of accurate. <laughs> I don't. It didn't get quite that stupid. Like there are the exceptions, but on a whole, I would not say the show got as dumb as bananas and stuff. There's definitely dumb things in it, but like the, the way Turtles Forever did it, it's a parody. <laughs> yeah, that was that entire fucking. Here, you can grab that now. Yeah. Well, it seemed to constantly miss these. Yeah. And just like the uh others, you don't even have to fight these. We just, wait just avoid like, them. Away. Yeah. And move forward. Stupid pizza aliens. They look a lot more alien y again than this one. <laughs> I did like how Shredder's Revenge made them more pizza like. Yeah. I keep wanting to run. This is so yeah, weird. Yeah, I know. I'm like, oh, I can't do the dash. I can't do the fucking flip. This sucks. Yeah, time for some throws. Also, wait till we get to the shield enemies, because we don't have the ability to dash and knock the shields out. So, uh, you know how you beat them? Hmm. Just hit them a bunch. Oh, lovely. You are too immature to hang with me. Whoa! Oh, oh fuck! That's oh, rude, right. Leatherhead. I mean, it's basically the uh. same pattern as the SNES game. Couple hits, he crawls, he charges. Yeah. Ah, I'm trying to jump. Stop. Oh, shell shock. I usually hit about, I think it's like five times. There you go. Oh, God damn it. I had to do the float instead of the kick. I'm trying to jump there. <laughs> He's gone. Yeah. yeah. I've been beaten by a bunch of teenage titles. Whoa. Yes. And then he was explosive. Who knew? <laughs> Everyone explodes in this game, and then they're back later. Boiler alert. A mysterious a ghost raid. ship. So we're not back in time in this one, we're just going to a mysterious ghost ship. Yeah, it's, it's so rom hacky it hurts. <laughs> it's weird they decided to make this decision, like, take out the time travel completely. I don't like get why they did what they did here, and one of my favorites is, you know, I'd say favorites with like a massive quotation marks around it. Oh yeah, and these don't restore your health, so why would they? What are they? Oh, I thought I could break that open. Guess not. Yeah. Want destructibles in this game? No. <laughs> I'm too used to that in Shredder's Revenge, where it's like, break everything, see what's in it. Oh, you broke it. <laughs> okay, why the 
fuck does my bottom of my foot itch now? Tip. I have to multitask and I don't wanna. Oh yeah, the um Mausers are just obstacles. They actually can't. Oh, you kill can't them. even kill them? You can kill them like later. Like this is just they're here to be annoying. Oh well, you can't kill them. Yeah, you can't. Just get do some of this. And so we just sawed uh, the pirate ship level in half. <laughs> Does this blow up? Baseline. Ah, <laughs> uh, you take it, you're blowing. You don't have as many lives as I do. <laughs> yeah, because I kept doing that stupid special at the beginning too and screwed myself over. I thought I'd buy early, see, the extra challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I was just pressing it, not paying attention that it was draining my life. <laughs> you put in the um, sanctioned cheat options in this game? Hmm? If you go to the listing of the game and you hit the, um, what I would call the select button for us boomer gamers, um, because it's not that, but that's what I'm going to call it. If you hit that, it brings up an enhancement menu, and if there's any kind of cheats or things that they can put in for the game, they are all in that list, and you can, like, add extra lives. Make okay. yourself invincible in some games. Yeah, we should have given ourselves extra lives, probably. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned with how I'm doing so far. That's because, like, in SNES, like, I'm always doing the slam, and in this it just seems more fickle. Mm. I just, I hate the non-running. Yeah. It makes me feel so slow. Roll. The Ninja Turtles casually scroll through the levels. <laughs> I guess there's... Could you run in the normal arcade game? Like, not the Nintendo version? I don't think in the normal arcade you could. You yeah. can in the time arcade. Oh, stop doing that. <laughs> Play a normal arcade game. It feels so weird if you're used to the NES one. Like, it feels yeah. like it's overly animated and kind of sluggish, and goddammit, I got hit by the barrel. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting hugged! jumped over that. That was BS. The fact that they don't have to fucking charge it at all, they just instantly hit you. Yeah. <laughs> that was the end of that section, cool. <laughs> Sir, health it is isn't refilled in anyway. Of who was playing what character. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now we're in prehistoric turtle source for reasons. <laughs> we're just in a cave that was under a pirate ship. You know, the mysterious ghost pirate ship that's in a cave. <laughs> How was it a haunted ship? ship? All that was on it was like foot soldiers and then some rock soldiers at the end. Like, was it ghosts of them? <laughs> I feel like there's some hyperstone spot. So Hyperstone Heist fans are getting real salty at us right now. <laughs> this game was my childhood! Yeah, so... It's kinda jank, though. If you're allowed to like jank things. Hi, stupid rock soldiers. Little mini general trags. This song gets stuck in my head after I hear it. I hate it. <laughs> I don't know why. With this out of all of them. Yeah, Get that pizza quick. I mean, now what we do is you hit John. them three times. Get the pizza, John. Get the pizza. <laughs> all right. 
<laughs> one <Fine>. tick. <laughs> I'm just so good at this, I didn't even know it. <laughs> I'm hit by this one soldier over and over again. <laughs> Stupid blocky guys. guys. And their infinite wisdom of uh. them times, and then they fall over. That's an excellent design choice. They have like taunts, don't they? Yeah, I, I always thought they were little shields in the SNES version, and in this they look a lot more like Tonfa. Yeah. So maybe I'm like, should I just look at the SNES one and be like, oh yeah, those are Tonfa. <laughs> you get them. And then like, think about it, we have a variety of like four fucking blitz soldiers. <laughs> Some of them have to pull double duty. <laughs> like, you'll find a purple one, and I'm like, oh, those are the standard mooks, and all I can do is punch you. You look delicious. I'm hungry for some turtle soup. First off, that's Shredder's long one. Yeah. Rocksteady, you don't get soup. Bro ain't that sophisticated. That's a I think this is it. What? I thought he jumped away and then it's like no rolling on the ground hurt. Okay, I got one hit there. Oh, I got you in a fucking lock. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, as Rocksteady is known to do. What games does this include? This includes like almost every classic Ninja Turtle game. Every <laughs> Ninja Turtle game that was ever on SNES, NES, Arcade, and Game Boy. Yeah. Which I was shocked by. I was like, wait, what the fuck? I'm surprised there's never a Game Gear one. They remember Shredder's Hideout? Shredder's Hideout. One of our original levels, by like, that means like, and it's like one of the few original songs in this game. Uh. Uh. These greatly, these are designed so well in this game. <laughs> I was playing the Game Boy Turtles a while ago. Um, all of the Foot Clan and the second one are very similar. Also, did you know that a Cheater Rewind has been built into a lot of these? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I think... I don't know if we can do it in multiplayer. But you can just, like, hold the uh, left bumper on most controllers and it'll just rewind the game. Nice. Yeah, I played through... Follow the Foot Clan. That's the only game I've played on this so far before this. Yeah, I played through all of Fall of the Foot Clan. I think I played through all of the uh, whatever the second one was called, Back from the Sewers or something. And I was playing a little bit of Radical Rescue, but that game is so fucking hard. And why is it a Metroidvania? <laughs> yeah. I was interested to play that just because I haven't played them that much. I did play through all of them and beat them once, but I never owned them, so I'm not super familiar with them. If I remember correctly, I definitely uh, rewind cheated my way through the rest of this game because it gets stupid later. <laughs> of course, we had a pizza and we're both doing pretty well. I mean, you have less lives, so I might as well just take whatever ticks. Oh, two ticks! Alright. Wow. Such a weird game. Isn't this the fucking oh. 
Yeah, this is like the Shogun stage in the NES game. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, this, like I said, this game feels like a fucking ROM hack. It's the weirdest shit. <laughs> I had no idea this level was in Hyperstone Heist. <laughs> How weird. Oh. Whoa. I wonder if that's gonna come down. Are we safe at the bottom? I can't even tell. <laughs> I don't think it's like, it seems like if I jump, this guy was like trying to jump over his dragon, but I kept hitting the ceiling. Hmm. Oh, good. Here's those, yeah. Are we gonna get the tigers or just more foot soldiers? We only had time to program four sprites in the game, so. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, these fucking. I hate them! Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I think these are the guys I lost most of my lives to when I was playing this originally. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Retro Station, for the super chat, $5. Hey, Thalus, I love, I much love from all of us aboard the Retro Station. Quick question. I have some bootleg zone stuff I'd like to send you. Can we do that? Um, I don't have, like, a P.O. box or anything set up for that right now. Maybe sometime in the future. I want to set up a PO box because we want to send me shit, and then all I did was just post office used it to dump every bit of their junk mail on. Yeah. I was like addressed to some dude who apparently used that PO box to sign up for literally everything on earth. Mm. Like I am just paying to clean out this old this other guy's mailbox. Yeah. So those or current resident. The fuck? This is his tax forms. That is not our <laughs> current resident shit. Oh. Is anything gonna happen with these? Oh, lasers. Whatever. Cool. I'm glad uh, my sprite was slightly touching. Ah, uh, these guys are so annoying with stuff like this, because it's like you have to get to them or else they'll throw their stupid little daggers. Yeah, and they're always running away. Yeah, they just hide behind the barrier. I hope you picked that up. It was like... <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to kill off some of them first since I had a couple ticks. Stupid fire breather soldiers. <sighs> Come on. Ugh. I hate, like, I'm trying to grab them and then they grab me. It's like bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, way less enemy variety. You must defeat my foot soldiers before you fight me. What? Dying! These just keep spawning. Tats oh, Tatsu. Oh, Tatsu. Him is that you just hit him a couple times and then he goes to the other side of the screen and that is really the repeat. Is this the only game as Tatsu in it? It might be. That's interesting. Flip up. We can probably just fuck him up by, like, you hit him on that side of the screen, he'll fucking come over here. Okay. Why am I getting hit with knives while I'm hitting him? Yeah. Seems like a time flaw. Ah! Dead. I'm dead too. <laughs> well, you can continue. There are limited continues, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Master! Ah, and then he explodes. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what happened to Tatsu in the movie. Casey hit him with the golf club and he said, Master! <laughs> Goron, no. <laughs> I wish it was Goron. How about that Starbase song in this cave? Yeah, with more pizza aliens. If you guys haven't watched the Goron video yet, you should check that out. It's pretty ridiculous. I know I needed to see it, but I still just got back from the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
think these guys have like a really easy exploitable pattern. Mm -hmm. Like they'll either swim under you and jump, or they will jump as soon as they get near you. And <laughs> if they swim under you and jump, you can just knock them out. But if they jump, like you can just stand still and they won't even hit you. You're the only ones that like, go underneath you, then you gotta worry about. Them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is the boss rush stage. What? <laughs> Watch out, he's purple. Purple leatherhead. And he throws daggers. Oh come on. One more, one more. Walk right into that, man. Oh, he's dead. Goodbye, purple weatherhead. And now it's time for Rocksteady but Orange! <laughs> Yes, of course. I'll never forget the Orange Rocksteady saga. That's just the original name for Bebop. <laughs> grenades. Yeah, he's got new. You, you turn orange, you learn how to use grenades. It's basic science. Oh, yeah. oh come on! God. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, come oh, what? What? Yeah, shell shock, whatever. Oh my god, what are you heat seeking? Come on. Oh my god, why am I getting so beat up? Oh shit. Oh no! <laughs> oh come on! Couldn't even do anything. Rocksteady looks a little Caucasian. Well, I mean, he was the Caucasian one. Bebop wasn't. I cover the Golden Films Tarzan movie at some point? Probably. Oh, oh. <laughs> Waiting for me. I thought we were done. Is this a... hey, look, oh. it's the guy we just murdered. Yeah, we just killed you. Get out of here. Oh, and he just keeps throwing his stupid darts. Enough of the darts. Get him behind. Okay. Get... There we go. It's like he's really easy to exploit, but. Oh, come on. Oh! You must defeat my foot soldiers to defeat before you can <laughs> defeat me. Or, you know, I just add adds to the game. Yeah. Stupid Tatsu in a red suit. But look, he's got new hair. Well, he's got a new, or a hat. new hat. Yes, I screwed up the Simpsons quote. <laughs> now he's exploding for real. Oh. Wait till you see who's the boss. If this is. <laughs> Mom hack as fuck. <laughs> My Mausers will stop you. Is Fly Baxter in this? Nope. It no? is fucking Arcade Baxter. That's weird. This is like the easiest fight in the arcade game. <laughs> it's like if you die against Baxter, there's something wrong. Human Baxter. Fly Baxter's a bit trickier. 
That way we had a thing going there, come on. Yeah. You got a work of art. I don't know. Fuck it all up. Got him. Yeah. Goodbye, Baxter. My dear Mausers have been defeated or beaten, something like that. I also don't know what's up with the dialogue in this game. <laughs> the lazy boss rush padding stage. Dead end. But the detector indicates that he is close by. Who's he? That's right, Baxter round two. <laughs> oh, Shredder. Crystal Shredder. <laughs> Ooh, feel the wrath of my hyperstone. Hey, dudes, let's go. Yay. Love how they do their super jump to the technodrome in a lot of these games. The final shell shock. Hmm, technodrome looking a lot like Starbase. Yeah. Doesn't seem quite right. Not Shredder is flipping you off for a second. <laughs> yeah, they went hard in Hyperstone Heist. <laughs> Fuck turtles. Up yours. Whoa, Mausers. I think we're from... Like, this is a weird amalgamation of Starbase and the Technodrome stage from SNES. Yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> we were, like, in sync. They're getting bitten. <laughs> Whoa. Grab them. Oh, some different enemies. And they're dead. They had a room on the cart for that. <laughs> Can we fit any more enemies? Will you review horror movies again? No. Oh, yeah, this soundtrack they put in the Hey Hey's. Hey Hey! Better. This old man want to conquer Earth? Yeah, maybe if Old Man teams up with Krang. Glad people were excited about Old Man Creepypastas coming back. So you made your reference to Halloween in that one. Halloween in what? In one of the videos that you did. Oh. Oh, in the Spider Man Rocket Robin Hood one? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, well, my skeleton's gonna show Halloween-y reference, I guess. <laughs> I do love that one. Like, that Ralph Bakshi story with him <laughs> fleeing Canada. Like, it's just such a crazy story associated with that Rocket Robin Hood cartoon of all things. Super Shredder fight is almost exactly the same, if I remember correctly. Okay. And it's exploitable. I'm glad like, they have the haze and the music makes you get more into it. Yeah, hey, hey! <laughs> we don't have Mode 7 throwing guys at the screen, so we need to just have the soundtrack say oh. hey sometimes. <laughs> oh, come on, I... Jump kicked it from behind. Uh, Bullshit. It's instant. Yeah, they are so quick in this one. Getting out of there. Boy. Oh, I got a. Uh, Go one one up. I think that means officially every pizza from this Ooh. point on is unless you are 
full health. <laughs> By the way, there's stealth limited continues in this. Also, I don't know how the hell you're supposed to dodge those. Stealth limited continues. Yeah, like, after a while, it won't say continue, it'll just say game over. Uh, is this the last level? Uh, I think so. We're probably good then. Not the last level, it's the second to last level. I remember there being more stages than I thought would be in this. Okay, get off. Ah! This is also the stages just overly long in this. Yeah. So that's what I want to see from my beat em ups. I want to be in the same stage for 20 minutes. That is kind of some of the stages in Follow the Foot Clan. You're just like, eh, enough. End yeah. this section. <laughs> it's literally just walking to the left and hitting shit. Yeah. I'll show you the power of Super Crane! This is basically the Neon Knight Riders fight, except. Occasionally... Okay, yeah, I remember what it does. Oh, this is. I think you're pretty funny, Krang. Occasionally he will do this weird kick thing, which is really easy to avoid. <laughs> oh, those, those missiles, again, the hitboxes are jank. That oh, one, oh so yeah. Yeah, Krang's always bad with his kicks in these arcade games. They think, like, Krang was super easy in Fall of the Foot Clan. It's like, he's the final boss. It's like, uh, that was way easier than Shredder. I feel like we still have to fight the, um, the bubble ship, so... Uh, I want to say there is another stage. Okay. So I was like, I remember it being weirder, because again, this is... Starbase is the last stage of... I think it's Stop wrong. dropping bombs on me and not... That was like three hits in a row I couldn't move during. <laughs> oh, so we're getting all our health back. Yay! Oh, what happened? Okay. I couldn't stop you, but Super Shredder will! Shut up, Crane. Oh, God. Eh. <laughs> As much as I love this fucking song, again, they made the elevator stage suck, which is quite an accomplishment. <laughs> <laughs> Do balls drop on us during this? I don't remember. Oh, stupid yellow soldier, orange soldiers, whatever they are. double stage where instead of getting our health back it's like okay you did part one now on to part two yeah they did only have rock steady in this dude didn't they does yep. bebop show up ever nope. no beep what a weird game <laughs> i think once we do this it's the fucking ship krang from uh, starbase and then super shredder why wouldn't they just make it Bebop instead of those recolors? Like, were they really that hard up for space on the Genesis cart by that point? They can make these stages nine fucking minutes apiece, then maybe. Yeah. It's so weird. And again, this elevator is going on for far too long. <laughs> like, usually, the elevator in this Technodrome is like one of the coolest parts of uh, the SNES game. Mm -hmm. And. This part's just like, ah, I get it, cool. Beep, 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 beep. Whoop, was not paying attention. 
I thought <laughs> I was expecting more doors. Now they're just growing out of the floor. All right. Yep. I gotta change it up. <laughs> what is hap? Are these like liquid soldiers? Like <laughs> these are the Terminator or something? I'm pretty sure they were in um, the Technodrome stage of SNES, but like, were they liquid in that? Yeah, they they yeah. came up before in the same way. Okay. But. I mean, it's silly there, too. It's just liquid Oh, no, it's soldiers. Super Shredder. We don't ever fight Ship Crank, okay? <laughs> okay, then. It's Super Duper Shredder. <laughs> Did he just use the Hyper Stone to go Super Shredder? Yep. Okay. <laughs> you show you the true power of the Hyper Stone. <laughs> An exploitable as fuck fight. Just wait for blue, and then, well, if I can get Wait for him. blue? Yeah, wait for blue, stand in front of him, and then hit him. Okay. Because blue, as long as you don't jump, and then red, he'll shoot the fire. Green, he'll... Hey, green's an instant kill. Do not get hit by green. Oh, shit! <laughs> and then I get hit by it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just kind of stand off to the side of him, wait for a color, and then when it's blue, you can go whale on him. And that's essentially the entire Super Sugar. Oh. <laughs> That's that same way on Super Nintendo, too, so. <laughs> If you're gonna... Oh, if you're behind him, you can get him in red, too. Okay. Stop oh, here. Oh, cool. yeah, blue is the easiest just because it takes him a while to shoot it. Right. You can get a good chance of him. As long as you're not jumping, you won't get hit. Mm. Oh, kid, I thought this was hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, if one of us gets positioned behind, then we can also just take advantage of that. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh he's already dead. <laughs> Fall off the railing, dummy. This eldritch horror robot in the background. <laughs> Cowabunga! All <laughs> <laughs> into spikes or it doesn't count. No, okay. Oh, his hyperstones fell out. <gasps> uh, what? First the effect. What? Yay! It's back, I guess. Our city has been returned to its normal size. What? How much of the city was changed? Who do we have to thank for saving the city? Vernon. Punk frogs. Yeah. <laughs> the punk frogs. Oh, who's that idiot? <laughs> yeah! Beam, beam, beam. That was the fucking fan game Ron Hack known as Hyperstone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of weird. Hey, I finally beaten Hyperstone Heist. Thank you, Craig Wan, for the five dollars. Really love your work, especially the Team and T videos. They make me laugh, and the question and question the writer's choice. Keep up the great work, my dude. Thank you. Next mutation theme. Yes, this is the next mutation theme. Only in my videos. <laughs> Raph's about to fall to his death, I guess. <laughs> what the hell, Mikey? Pizza USA. Yeah, if they played Pizza USA, it would be better. Ninth. Hey. No, it's definitely worth branding your cart with. Yeah. Jaw. Jaw. 
John. Game over! I just love that they put in <clears throat> first arcade game Baxter Stockman as a boss. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not. Please don't ever do that again. Let's never kick shell. I'm gonna play some arcade game. Yeah, do you wanna do Turtles in Time or the original? I think the original. We just yeah. played the weird version of that. So can't can... run. <laughs> yeah, we don't have run, but I don't expect it in this one. All right, am I got the lobby? And there you are. I hope we don't get randos. Here we go. Yeah, I love that you actually have to select before you start because it's expecting you to put the coin in the slot. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Don't have the rights to the original one, I guess. Oops. Should be enough lives. How do you put in more lives? Just keep hitting start. You can do it all game long if you want. <laughs> Here's a new half shell. Trigger power. That should be enough. Yeah, I think you'll survive. I don't have to be careful at all now, because infinite lives. <laughs> yeah, that's what's nice about playing the arcades, is just like, what's that? I need more lives? <laughs> yeah. I can also do this attack without worrying about it draining my life. Good thing I brought the $500 of quarters to bring to the arcade. <laughs> yeah, normally I was always playing Dodd, but like... Play Raph in this one because it just feels better to play as. Dom he has a different special attack in this one, doesn't he? I'm gonna have to work. Like in this one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we saw that as weird. It's like, why is Raph the only one with a different special attack? Already died. Who cares? Yeah, like, you realize how bad the health system is. <laughs> oh, yeah, they just want you to throw quarters in. Fucking it's outright shameless quarter muncher. Yeah, that's what I like about the Nintendo version. It's like it's more of a balanced game. <laughs> yeah, like I was even mentioning that when I was playing it again. I'm like, this feels better than the art game. It kind of does. <laughs> This shit was a spectacle back in the day. Yeah. I was telling people, I remember the dank, old-ass uh, arcades that we had around when I was in Illinois called uh, Aladdin's Castle. Mm. And, like, the, when it was still in that little dark corner of the mall, like, this was, like, their center stage cabinet. Like, everybody <laughs> was it. As well it should be. <gasps> Why'd you say that? What? Say you praise, Toidles. Let's get me two lives every time we do it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Kick. I can't wait for the next level where we play, uh, where we fight Peach Rocksteady. <laughs> oh, well, let's let Shredder take April. Oh. I thought he was just going to be nice. Come on, after that shredder creep. You can't throw firecrackers in that, dude. That's the wrong. Good one, shredder. shredder. Very, very good at line reading. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, this, this is what a what is turtle soup. Sounds gross. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder who it was they got to do any of the voices for this. 
say about 98% chance some Japanese guy. <laughs> some Never general. programmed it. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna miss Annie's Totat to O. <laughs> Is it like a Halloween thing? Looks like a reverse what? jack o' lantern. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you see the biggest travesty of all, though, in the uh, NES arcade in this? Uh, they took out Pizza Hut signs. Did they? They're just black. <gasps> Come on. They could have at least changed it to some generic pizza. That'd be the exact same thing, but no. Just black signs that fall down. I can't believe they took the Pizza Hut signs out. I shouldn't have bought this game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shredder's Revenge came with Pizza Hut coupons. Come on, Konami. <laughs> that was another thing the Nintendo version had over the arcade game. <laughs> yeah, it's like a vacation poster or something in this one. Yeah. Mom? I don't know what that is. Yeah, what is it? S it's a stoner? Stoner? <laughs> Crap corp? Yeah. Don't forget to go to US jail. <laughs> yeah, is that like an arrow like this way? US jail? <laughs> right here by the car. Yeah, this little junkyard with Bebop in it is the US jail. Boy, teeth out. Duh. Whoa. Oh, get out of here, stupid little foot soldier. <laughs> I'm helping! Get out of here. <laughs> How am I not hitting him there? Oh, the jank in this game. Take that, Bebop. You know, you're so unimportant, you weren't even in Hyperstone Heist. <laughs> Who are you? I still remember Purple Leatherhead, my favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> it's much more important to have recolors in there. We don't have enough money to put a new sprite. Oh, quick, just change the color palette. <laughs> RPGs get away with it all the time. Yeah. Who put the lights out? Okay, so now we can fall down there. Okay. Yeah. It's okay once Bebop's dead. <laughs> Doesn't hurt anymore. Oh god, we were having quite an epic fucking kung fu fight there. Randomly flailing around without hitting each other. <laughs> Stupid hammer time soldiers. I forgot they had rats run by in this one. I also forgot the Splinter gets kidnapped in this one. <laughs> My favorite bit is like where you get the turtle van and then immediately crash it. <laughs> Let's go for a drive! <laughs> oh shit, we're drunk! <laughs> I guess not. Arcade game. Yeah. Alright, well, it's all you for a second, John. Games washer. Well, for some reason, the mouths are on you. You're shooting missiles. What the fuck? Oh, failing you were in the worst spot. Oh, we got a, we got a rando. Oh, and he has great connection. I am having a lot of fun right now. Going well. I can just. The only thing I can do is face tank these missiles. Oh, oh shit, I can block them. Alright, let's go. I'm a pro. Look at that. Ooh. 
I don't know who new member... Okay, thank you for finally joining. Oh, wow, your connection absolutely blows my guy. So I've, uh... been fending off this missile heist here. While whoever joined is crashing our network. Yeah, uh, we had some rando join, and then immediately quit, and they fucked our connection. Oh, what the hell? Oh yeah. no! What the Absolutely hell? fucked our connection. Ah. Uh, thanks, randos. I do not want to play like this. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. We can try privating this time. I'll try it. But I don't know how to get you to see it. Um, I don't know. Because, yeah, if you can't see... Yeah, that's the problem, is since it's a four-player game, any rando can join us. Yeah. Unless there's a way for you in the lobby to limit how many people join, but I don't think there is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me look, actually. Great lobby... No. Oh, thank you, Zealous Retin102, for the $15. Recently went back and watched some of your old Uva Bowl reviews and couldn't stop laughing. Thanks for all the laughter over the years. Oh, thank you. Glad you enjoyed this. Um. You could play the Nintendo one. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. We just can't cheat. If I can get to it, where is it? Oh god, can we not? Can we not play the Nintendo we... one online? What the... <laughs> I don't know if we can't even... We can play Hyperstone Heist, but we can't play fucking Turtles in Time on NES. But we can play Tournament Fighters. What? Oh, shit. What I... the... <laughs> Oh, the Turtles! What is going on here? What is with these limited online <laughs> options? Why? This is stupid. I really wanted to play the Nintendo one, and now we can't. <laughs> like, I heard remote play doesn't remote play together doesn't work, which would have been great. Um, the alternative is God, I haven't used one of those systems in a while. Like, I can't remember what they were called, but they had a couple that were basically light remote play together, but you had to, like, set them up outside. Hmm. The internet goes to stop you in your tracks. Yeah. The limiting ghost. Uh, let's, let's try a regular arcade game again, I guess. Let's just hope someone with a bad connection doesn't shit it up. Such a fucking mess. Yeah. I got it started again. I don't know who Dread is, but I'm on their own guy now. Like, for all the shit that they've done with this game, like, I can see why people were... Hang on, Kawabunga! <laughs> well, I hope you like this level, guys. Get to see it again! We would have got to see it in 8-bit glory, at least, if we played the Nintendo game, but we're not allowed! I gotta remember the name of that service that lets you basically do what Steam's Remote Play Together does. So I've used it before in the past to play games when that wasn't a feature. Mm. And essentially just, you know, you have someone hosting on their computer, and Is then this... you're acting as if you were couch co oping Is this like a map of Channel 6? That or is it just supposed awkward. to be, a, like, one of those block paintings? Sort of goat with two hammers. <laughs> like, yeah, in the NES days, this game looked like fucking the best thing, and now it's like, this looks kind of sloppy. 
<laughs> like, like, I love this note. Fire point. <laughs> that font is just like... Whoa. You're like running out of grid and you're putting pixels, pixels down to make it kind of look like words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of the words are rather bizarre. Oh, thank you, Blade Blur, for the five dollars. Thank you for all the entertainment. Your videos helped me a lot. During the worst in life, I am internally grateful. Oh, I'm glad my videos could help some, man. It's always nice to hear when my videos help someone. Peanut m and has tried to kill me. <laughs> Classic story. Are you choking? Oh. No, it just ended up in that one part where it just triggers every bit of your gag reflex. Oh. Well, yeah. Alright, we're good. Throwing in this super cool. We did it. Again. <laughs> oh, oh, you. <laughs> How come, like, neither yeah. version of Turtle... Was the arcade version of Turtles in Time on the list? I guess it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We okay. that one. But why not the Super Nintendo one? That's weird. Yeah, especially if you're going to put fucking Hyperstone Heist as an option. Yeah, that seems so random. I don't know why they wouldn't have figured out it out for every game before putting this out. This seems strange. <laughs> Can't one Schrader. I'm not paying attention. I've not tried Rescue Palooza yet. That is something. I'm yeah, interested I, in trying at some I point. I downloaded it, but I don't think I've played it either. I don't remember how online works or if it even does. Yeah. Well, I know it's like a fan game, so you have to. You can't install it from anything. Yeah. But itself. Yeah. <laughs> this stupid guy doing a circle around us. <laughs> we'll look at you. We'll look at you. <laughs> Time to go to Annie's. I gotta go to Annie's. All year Cheer. Halloween store or whatever. <laughs> oh, I love this. This pizza time when they just show up. Yeah. I want to get it anyway. Whoa, energy! How are you gonna get your energy from pizza? Oh no! Uh, so I have to scare her. Is this a cow woman riding a tauntaun? It doesn't look like a horse. <laughs> right, hell. No. <laughs> God, I just realized what else that might spell. I'm not gonna say it on that. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go watch Hume after this. Hume? Hume. I guess a, a car tree. could be called a jet true or whatever. Thank you, Master Fire, for the 9.99. Would you ever consider checking out Flaming Wheel Studios English dub of Lion and the King to review the movie since it's in English? And no, I'm not planning to use any um, fan dubs for reviews. Um... I do have the English subtitles for that one, though, so I'll probably review it with those at some point. It's Peach Rock Study! <laughs> oh yeah, you think you're real funny, Bebop. Remember, Keith out. <laughs> it's a 
so quarter muncher it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like, oh, you know how it is, you know, you can get two hits off and he just punches you across the screen for about three bars of your health. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Kill him as I fall in the manhole. Speedrun tactic. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, you have to beat him the second you die and then put the game into a glitch state to save, like, five minutes. Save on here loaded from three years ago. What? It's like, no, I have a save on here loaded from three years ago, and if I load that up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like sometimes I don't want to know how y'all do this shit. I do like the ones where they have to do weird setups. <laughs> I mean, the speedruns are driving nuts are the ones where it's all just weird setups, and it's just like, and now the credits are rolling, and I guess that means Yeah, if it's it. just a warp like, to the credits, that's not as interesting. But I like seeing the game, like, broken in strange ways. Hungry! I totally didn't need that, and I don't care! <laughs> I there were missiles in the water. I was defending you against them until Captain Bad Connection showed up. And I had <laughs> fucking two FPS. Little stinky Leonardo. We need a new way! A Bad Connection way! I always feel like that was a line and plot point that someone just wrote down and then hope someone else would figure out yeah it seems to be a lot of next mutations just like let's write something see if someone else finishes this oh they didn't all right uh thank you king raiko for the five dollars one thing missing from this game and shredder's revenge game from earlier this year bebop and rocksteady forever mode yeah that could have been a thing they, like, let you play as Bebop and Rocksteady in a weird mode in a Shredder's Revenge. That could have been fun. I feel like that could probably be right for some semblance of DLC. Not that I think it needs it, but... Yeah, if they added a mode like that where it's like you're doing something vastly different with Bebop and Rocksteady, it might be fun. Baxter sucks! Yeah, just, uh, he's in a weird pattern right now. I keep missing him. <laughs> yeah, he's just, like, way faster than we're capable of moving. There we go. We're to getting it now. I was, ta was shit-talking this guy earlier, and now it's like, oh, we can't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then he has. Oh, I died against him, too, just like I said was bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's more about the NES ones that I'm thinking about. It's like, he's so easy on NES. It's kind of like a free boss fight. Here he's just being annoying and somehow getting on a weird plane where we're not hitting him. Even though it looks like we should be. Yeah, there we go. Finally. Wasn't that funny, Shredder? I know, I got hit by the one-way sign. Because <laughs> you're going the wrong way. Very stupid. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, neither of us are hitting each other. <laughs> oh, the sign can hit you? I didn't even realize that. Hey, it's a pipe point. The pipe point. <laughs> hey, hey! HD has ruined everything for us. <laughs> you were never meant to read these. <laughs> trust. This is the trust truck. TGR. Oh, it's like, like, oh, it's TGR. Or it's like, like, almost like TGRI. <laughs> I'm just loving that trust is like parallel to us. <laughs> like, it's in our exact. Yeah, 
it, that is it bizarre. Dream, but, yeah, oh my god, it hurts to look at. <laughs> yeah, trying to think of how it's supposed to look on the truck properly. <laughs> Okay, so I think this is dodge roll with the fucking special. Wasn't that funny? Twenty miles per hour. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going faster than that. Yeah. I can't wait till we get to the final level and some rando joins us. And yes, <laughs> shits it up right at the end. Keep the time. Instead of Baxter, it's this. See, so, yeah, I was just so used to Baxter, I forgot this battle existed for a while. And it's like, played the arcade again, it's like, oh yeah! <laughs> I love the SNES turtles in time, put them in the pirate costumes, like, that right. was so good. Yeah, that And was then fun. in the fucking arcade version, that's where token rays are. Mm. And the dog doesn't yelp when you beat its ass anymore, so what's the point? <laughs> okay, we get it rock steady. You have a gun. These guys explode earlier. Yeah. yeah, they got over it. Yeah. So now get rid of the other Rocksteady. Get out of here, Peach Rocksteady. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll take out April. <laughs> now it's time for the turtles' great driving skills. Let's move it. <laughs> Let's move it. Oh, you got the kiss. Well, you did the fucking... Throw me like one of your French girls pose on the background. <laughs> I, I forgot, it's at the end of this level the great driving skills come into play. Yeah, we have to drive to the highway so that we can walk to the end of the highway. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like getting out of the turtle van was a mistake here. <laughs> Oops. This was always one of the weirdest songs in the game to me. Like, it always seems like it belonged on, like, a sky level. I don't know why that's everything I always thought of. Huh. I never really thought about that. It's gotta be something to do with the instrumentation and other songs that have been, like, air and sky levels use that instrumentation. Because it's always the vibe I get from this one. Hmm. It is a very... Like, it's energetic, at least, I guess. It's... But I could see it. I could see like the clouds as yeah, they like... fly, float along to this track. Hey! 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 <laughs> yeah, they needed to uh, remove Bebop for the hey in the soundtrack. <laughs> hey! 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 Keep the time. Put soldiers on motorcycles. Looking at Chad and I died. Do, 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 do. Hey! Watches me, and, but Chad uh, is very selective. Sometimes people talk, most of the time they just watch me ramble on incoherently. <laughs> See, this is why we couldn't drive. Yeah. We had to walk to them first. But it's not like we get rid of these. We just jump over them, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how the turtle van gets over these. It must have, like, a Inspector Gadget spring in it. Yeah. I did it. I reflected it at him. That's all I wanted. Oh, we have to get out of the turtle van so we can get on our skateboards. Yeah. We're teenagers and we're totally cool, dude! But where did we get our skateboards from? They were behind 
the barrier in the barrel. Oh, uh, okay. Obvious. <laughs> hey, I remember these being not that fucking hard to deal with in the NES. Yeah. I think the helicopter blades actually hit you in this one, which I forgot about. I think these guys look like they got super soakers to take us out. <laughs> it was that weird time in the 80s and 90s where we're like, well, we're not going to do anything about guns, but we are going to make sure that kids don't think they exist. <laughs> it's okay as long as it doesn't shoot a bullet, apparently. The trumpets with triggers that shoot lasers. <laughs> Yeah, the weird thing too is like turtles, they pulled out regular guns once in a while, but it shot like a laser. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> We're turtles, remember? Paying attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, I was already thinking. Every gun, every gun in the '80s shot lasers. Sound of gunfire and GI Joe is great yeah. in my memory. Here we go. Hang on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice driving, Donatello. <laughs> and we gotta save Splinter. Do we? At what point was Splinter kidnapped? Uh, it's just now, probably. Just now. Like Must he be. flew out of the oh. van, flew right to being kidnapped. Probably it. Ow! That's mean. Hurry! We don't have to hurry. Does this drop bombs on us if we wait too long? Is that what happens? I was thinking the missiles in the uh, water were big, uh, like a punishment for not moving forward, but... No, that's just for being in the water. Yeah. Let's see what happens, because I don't remember. What's our right. punishment? You die. <laughs> yeah! Is hmm. there no punishment? <laughs> like a bad fucking decision by the developer. Alright. If something was going to happen, I think it would have. I thought there was a bomb or something. <laughs> yeah, Rodfar, this isn't the new one. This is the collection of all the old ones. <laughs> Why does Splendor hate? Because we hate Splendor. Hey, here with your stupid boomerangs. am like thrown off too by the extra levels not being in this one yeah I'm like when do we do the snow level oh yeah that's not in this <laughs> i'm like man i don't believe being so fucking numerous and aggressive either <laughs> these things always annoyed me because i found it irritating to get on the same plane as them though As I am right now. There we go. Get on my level, man. Oh, okay. Let's just go with them, John. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's go. Can you take me somewhere? Take okay. me in. Oh. You're not doing it at all. Yeah, he's just electrocuting me to death. That's definitely different. I also remember these things in the NES version, they just turn red when you kill them. Yeah, it was always weird. That bugged me because I wanted them to blow up. Pizza time! P -p Pizza time! 
Rock soldier time. That guy you see in the one episode with General Treg, and then he never shows up again. That's what? what he is just Wait, constantly slamming. <laughs> he is a bit cheap. Yeah, this is such a bullshit boss fight. I can't even move from that corner. He just keeps hitting me there. What was yeah, the good strategy? Yeah. It's like... like in the super, in the super, in the regular Nintendo one, it's like jump kick. I think jump kick might be the strategy here too. But he can still do that, which is BS. Yeah, Quarter Muncher's whole concept was go up there and hit buttons and hope you don't die. Yeah. It seems like if you position yourself, like you sprite kind of <laughs> fucked out right here. <laughs> oh, just die. Blow up, you idiot. Oh, come on. He's splashing so much, just die. <laughs> Big explosion. Well, that guy's dead. That's why he never showed up again. We said that after we left, so we didn't hear that. And this is where someone joins and shits up our connection. I think we lost John. Kinda. <clears throat> okay. I had to verify something. Which we definitely didn't have to verify anything. It's the last level, isn't it? Yeah. Though we do have, like, the mid-level boss of Trag. Oh yeah, it's like other rock guy. Go. Yeah. yeah another fifty bucks should do it. Ow. Do -do 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 -do. Mm. I keep calling these Rodney road kills, but it's road kill Rodney. <laughs> I remember, like, in the NES version, I remember these being a huge pain in the ass, though. Like, they're tiny, they move around a bit quicker, and then you just kind of have to sit them in the corner and hit them, like, fucking what seems like 20 times before they die. Yeah, you definitely want to corner them and then just get them in a pattern. These are less fast. Oh, See, yeah. even though there's not run in this one, it doesn't feel as weird not having it like it does in Hyperstone Heist. Yeah, it's like you kind of base speed move fairly quickly. Yeah. It doesn't feel like you need it. And your jump kick can take you across the screen pretty easily. Stop making that street noise with your tires. Makes me think there's someone outside doing donuts. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, like, the way the sound is registering here, it sounds like it's coming from outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. What a swinger! I always found the spear soldiers annoying on the NES one. The regular foot soldiers are actually some of the worst ones on the Nintendo one because of the hug move. Yeah. I don't want SNES turtles in time. Like, it's very easy. Like, they hug constantly. Mm. And, like, they will, you'll just get beat down by everything on the stage. <laughs> I went from full health and nothing, like, instantly on one of my playthroughs. <laughs> were you ever convinced that that game worked with the four score? Uh, the regular Nintendo arcade game. I had a four store. Oh, you mean the original? Like, you would suddenly be able to play four players you put it in? Yeah. Because I remember thinking that worked for a long time, and then it's like, one of my friends got a four score, and we're like, yeah, let's try this, and then it's like, of course, no. <laughs> 
Like, it's one of those things that's very obvious if you look at the UI, but when you're a kid, you don't think about that shit. Yeah, you just think it's gonna change somehow, and like, oh, show like four people somehow. <laughs> Krang is annoying with his eye lasers. He's much like Goron. Real Goron of a Krang. I love when we play uh, Shur's Revenge and then you fight Krang and the song starts playing. I'm like, well done. Yeah. This is just the Krang theme. Just think of this with Krang. So funny, Krang. Marcus, there's no reaction time to dodge, you just immediately retaliate. So I'm like, yeah, that's quarter yeah. much fucking philosophy. It's like, you're not supposed to be good at the game. <laughs> yeah. So, give enough money until the game lets you win. Yeah, his kick is annoying. trying to glitch like there's that little sweet spot you can kind of glitch out the sprites but it's so hard to get it mm -hmm. um. die crane <laughs> stupid eye lasers yeah uh. I'm doesn't seem like it <gasps> Now here's the biggest quarter muncher tactic. <laughs> I just always remember, like, as soon as one's helmet fell off, I would just leave it alone. Yeah, that's the strategy. Especially because it can't do the turtle move at that point either. But somebody had said that when I played through, and for some reason, there was one that was able to. Really? I always see them just, like, they go to the position like they're trying to do it, and it never works. The only thing I could think of is maybe it was the original Shredder. There we go. Maybe, maybe he can still do it, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure these two shouldn't be able to do it now. You know, I... Well, now we have them doing it again. <laughs> They're trying to get off track, to be honest. Is way more important to keep to that strategy in the Nintendo game. Is this the real one? Yeah, neither of them are. There's one, okay. Yeah, I think that one without a helmet just tried to do the move and he couldn't. Get out of <laughs> Huddle up, idiots. <laughs> it's like they try to get in your way, like, ooh, let's yeah. block him. Ugh. He did make more depending on, like, how many people were playing, right? I think so. I always remember there just being three. Mm. Although when I played by myself, it was only two. Okay. Where's our friend Power 5 when you need them? Yeah, you need the turtles to drunkenly dance at the discotheque. Oh, what? That, like, sucked me down, so I got hit by it. Well. There we go. What? Yeah, I can still split for some reason. Didn't realize you would still be good. And I have once again lost track of which character I was. <laughs> I'll oh. fuck you up, bottom corner of the screen. <laughs> Can I please cover the remaining dingo movies? Yeah, some point. I'm not gonna do marathon them, otherwise, I'd get burned out on them. <laughs> But yeah, I'll be, I imagine I'll do the rest of them at some point. Some of them need to be translated, too, before I can cover them.
What about Shredder and Krang burned to toast, vaporized a milkshake, or escaped to Dimension X? I think they're definitely dead. We'll never see them again. The end. I always like that they're vaporized to milkshake. It's like, hmm, let's drink up Shredder and Krang. Delicious. Who vaporizes a milkshake? Mm. Mm -hmm. Gosh, milkshakes are my favorite. <laughs> the ale. Yeah. Shredder's dead, USA. Yeah. <laughs> they're in HFIL. <laughs> Do I like She-Hulk on Disney Plus? I haven't watched it yet. Maybe at some point I will. Never got the vaporized milkshake line. Yeah, it is strange. It's always one that's stuck with me, though, because it is such a weird line. Where's April? She is in the Technodrome. We forgot her in there. Oops. I think Splinter was with her too. Along with Connection destroying Leonardo. <laughs> He's in the game over! Ah, oh, we lost. Damn. Oh my name it. How do letters work? Yeah, nothing was better than, like, getting a really good high score and then the high score entrance thing being absolute nonsense. Fuh. Fuh. John did better than Fuh. So, that leaves us with... We er 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 Another option for time and the game no one wants to play. And <laughs> the game no one wants to play. I don't know, do we want to do that? Are we talking about call it? it? What? I don't think it'd be too hard to get through Turtles in time on Arcade, but I mean, if you want to call it, I'm fine either way. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe know. we'll save that for a possible other time if we want to do this again. Yeah, and maybe if they're nice, they will put the rest of the fucking games in there. Yeah, that'd be cool, too. I'd like to play the NES oh, ones. He actually said to me, he's like, hey, I'll get online and we'll play through the NES version. I don't think he knows either. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's a weird selection. Yeah. Fucking high, high really? All right. That's like having part of the screen cover my face. Didn't realize where my head was. Oops. Bail on here and switch to Lamentum for anybody who's on my stream. I'll yeah. and I'm gonna end my stream. So thanks for joining us, everyone. It was fun once we could finally get the thing going. That took a bit of work. <laughs> have any randos jump in and put us into a fucking two FPS? Yeah. What the hell that was about? Well, the NES version is on here. It's just you can't play it online currently, apparently. But you do get the NES games in the regular spot. Like, I'll show you the not online selection before we go here. It is a good selection of games. So you get all the Nintendo games here. Turtles 1, 2, and 3. You get all the versions of Tournament Fighters. And then the Game Boy games, even. This was the first thing I played on here, Fall of the Foot Clan. Back from the sewers, Radical Rescue. Yeah, Radical Rescue, I think you start as just Michelangelo and you have to find the rest of them. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, I always thought those ones were kind of neat because the, like, the later ones after the first one, they're kind of like a hybrid of you know, the arcade games and the regular Nintendo game. Yeah. I still have to play Man Yeah, why? Not even Manhattan Project's on here. Yeah, it's so weird. have projects on here, but not in the online. Yeah, right? not in the online. So, yeah. Anyway, goodbye, everyone. <laughs>